You're probably already aware that Biomutant has four World Eater bosses that can only be fought using specific mounts, and that the Mechton is one such mount. What you may not be aware of is the absolute butt-ton of customizable cosmetic parts available for the Mechton. In today's guide, we're going to explain everything you need to know about the Mechton, including where to find my personal favorite cosmetic parts, which kind of reminds me of Frank from Donnie Darko. Why are you wearing that stupid man suit? If you guys find this video at all helpful, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and let us know what your favorite Mechton parts are in the comments below. If you have yet to unlock the Mechton, then you've probably been enjoying the side quests and exploration in Biomutant a bit more than you should. Getting the Mechton is pretty simple if you just follow one of the main quest lines. Make your way over to Gizmo at the Chug Yard, just northwest of Bricktown. Clear out the Bompa Bonker crew, don't forget to mark that fast travel point, and then sprocket your way in to see Gizmo. Gizmo will then give you a quest called Skronk Salvage, where you have to make your way into the Hypoxia Hazard Zone to get him the parts needed to get the Mechton functional again. Now, you have two options here. Follow through with the new side quest that pops up, the Oxygen Ping Dish, which will take you clear across to the far north side of the map, or what Gizmo doesn't tell you is that if you just book it into the Hazard Zone, you can breathe again once you make it into the first building. Search around in that building until you find this climbing spot that will let you get up to the second floor. Cross the type rope to the truck, then book it to the nearby building where you can breathe again, and we'll also find the first Mechton wreck box. After that, climb to the top floor and zip line your way back to Gizmo. He'll take those parts and get the Mechton back up and running. Gizmo will then send you on one more quest line where you collect these little critters called sk Skvips? Skvips? Skvips. These little critters called Skvips, which will help when fighting the World Eater. Now, here's the thing. The Mechton already comes fully loaded. It provides 100% immunity to hypoxia, so you can roam the hazard zone without worry. If you see something that you want to explore, you can hop out of the Mechton whenever you like. Just make sure to get back to the Mechton before you run out of air. The Mechton is also equipped with guns for ranged damage, as well as melee abilities. It can even perform a combo by hitting the melee attack button three times. The Mechton also has a dash ability, as well as a small hover ability, which I personally have not found helpful at all. Then again, I haven't invested any points into intelligence, and since the hover drains your key energy, that might explain why it sucks for me. Oh, you can also clean up certain oil pools in the dead zone using the parry button as well. More often than not, you can find some loot buried under these pools. And keep an eye out for yellow buildings as the Mechton can also destroy these and sometimes find even more loot under the rubble. Now, if you want, you can head directly to the World Eater Jumbo Puff immediately after you collect the Sphips and turn them into Gizbo. I think you can actually head to fight it before you even turn in the Squips, but I don't recommend it as you need the Squips in order to unlock one out of the four missable trophies in Biomutant. You don't need to collect the other 13 Mechton wreck boxes since the rest of the parts are purely cosmetic. As you track the Mechton wreck box side quests, you'll eventually collect all 14 sets of parts which can be swapped out at any time while riding the Mechton mount. You do not need to go back to Gizmo to swap out those parts. Now, I don't know if the order of the wreck boxes is randomized or not, but here's what I found in each one. We've already gone over where to find the first one. So the second wreck box, which contained the Clegg legs, hard whack torso and ballpoint shoulders I found just wandering the dead zone in this rundown town called City Scenario, just west of the destroyed freeway. After that, I ventured north into Bang Shelter 7B to find the wreck box containing the Outrider legs, safe bet torso, and skirtabird abdomen parts. The wreck box containing the ventilator back, side worts abdomen, and snokespew back I located at Munch House 6C, just southwest of Steep Depot. Heading west, outside of the dead zone, you can find the wreck box that contained the ankle bankles feet, depressurizer back, and bowl bumpers shoulder in brick back 7B. 
Cross the bridge just north of the Wift Waft outpost to find the wreck box containing the full cast legs, fimple fan, abdomen, and claw cannon cabinet back. Plank Place, located just south of Bionucleus 8C, is where you can find a wreck box that contained the shin guard's feet, thump defer torso, and clorksmirk abdomen. Inside the Grotu, which is the underground area just southwest of Bionucleus 8C, is where you can find the wreck box containing the duck face head, twerp toes feet, and for me, I got a second set of Outrider shoulders. Not really sure why. And if you haven't already guessed it, there's also a wreck box located at Bionucleus 8C itself. This one contained the leg welds legs, stompers feet, and thigh bend legs. Just northeast of Bionucleus 8C, there is a building wreckage housing the wreck box containing the rocket rods back, bunny bone head, my favorite, and dragon skull head. In Brickback 7C, there is a wreck box that contained the ram resistor torso, panda pank head, and oxygenesis back. Heading even further west of Bionucleus 8C, just past the Grotu, is Shop Shop 8B, where you can find the wreck box that contained the Pranky Plate Head, Flurby Plate Head, and Sloot Plate Head. The next wreck box is actually located in Sector 4E, just south of where you find Gulp in Sinky Dink. For me, this wreck box had the Smurgle Plate Head, Masky Plate Head, and Grin Plate Head. And the last wreck box was located in Sector 3E, just south of a Fluff Hulk nest. This one contained the Ankry Teddy Plate Head, Hood Head, and Frizz Plate Head. And that's it. Guys, these drops are randomized throughout the 14 wreck boxes, so if you didn't find the piece you were looking for where I found it, don't worry. Just keep going through the list and you'll eventually get them all. And until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and stay tuned to ICE-TV.